I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna spit the verse the way it was supposed to be spit a little slower so you can hear what I'm saying and I'm gonna break down like some of the some of the bars right okay all right been hearing a lot of small talk but I'm socially awkward if it ain't big dreams or think tanks, I'ma post up and play orchid. It means I'm a wallflower. No room for them shallow flows in my bar garden. I'm full reign of this landscape till I soak up the market. I'm giving y'all elevated sonnets. I'm trying to leave y'all on a high note. But I'm down bad because the way the world treat the hot and tots versus the Milo. These intravenous bars. I'm getting under their skin deep. I'm trying to lighten y'all till something spark, give out third degrees like a pyro, keep my body out the convo, less his body at work. Faith in my text, leave stigmata like it was body art church. Bells ring when I went pen to paper like I'm a bride of this verse. Your talent cheap and mass produced like Alibaba, truth hurts. See, my courtship with this cuneiform is immortalized like Rosetta Slabs while y'all Babylon about the bags you and your crew spent. I am the mitochondrial Eve. All these little atoms came from my seeds. I got a goddess complex. Put some respect on my blueprint. Right. So. Without that trash ass. No, I'm just. Again, no disrespect to whoever did that beat. But without that beat, like, like I feel like the bars like just really. Just kind of are clearer and just doper on a standalone shit. So, I'm going to break down the, the bars, four bars at a time, because I be in my head so much, like, sometimes the complexity of things that I say, or even, like, a generational thing, if there's not a generational, like, link or understanding to what I'm saying, like you might not get what I'm saying. So, so I say, been having a lot of small talk, but I'm socially awkward. So, like, small talk, con you know, y'all know, conversation, like, about everyday things. I'm saying I'm socially awkward because <clears throat> I actually am. And then I'm equating small talk to like, just like BS, you know, talking about like chains and money and, and trivial things like that's small talk to me. And I'm saying if it's not big dreams or think tanks, I'm going to post up and play orchid, which is a flower. And I'm saying post up and play orchid, meaning I'm going to play the wall. I'm going to be a wallflower. Um, no room for them shallow flows in my bar garden. One full rain, rain as in, you know, uh, royal rain, and also rain as in, you know, uh, water rain to um, <clears throat> actually replenish and, and support the growth of a garden. One full rain in this landscape till I soak up the market. I'm giving y'all elevated bars. I'm trying to leave y'all on a high note, right? But I say I'm down bad. Because the way the world treat the hot and tides versus the milos, right? Then this ties into the next line where I say these intravenous bars, I'm getting under their skin deep. Now, Venus, there's a, there was this book, like this whole theory back in the day called women, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From, from Venus. And <clears throat> so the intravenous bars, I'm saying intra means between that, that, uh, Prefix means between. So um, when I say the way the world treats the hot and tots versus the Milos, I'm saying the treatment between these two Venuses, hot and tot Venus and Venus de Milo. So if you're familiar, you're familiar. But if you're not, hot and tot Venus was a derogatory name given to Sarah Bartman, which was who was a Khoi Khoi or Khoi San woman um, from the southern african region um and she was tricked in the late 1700s and 1800s to go to europe to be a part of a freak show and she was exploited and abused and exhibited in front of europeans as this freak of nature her body um if you look her up <clears throat> she had a voluptuous body that had never been seen by them, but they cho they chose to deride her and abuse her and put her on display like she was an animal. And they even marketed her exhibit as if she were 
an animal. And she later died. They dissected her remains without even caring to do an autopsy to discover like what was the cause of death. They dissected her remains and put them on display and used them as evidence of her um, supposed or African people's supposed link to apes. So this is disgusting, you know, a egregious and disgusting example, a historical example of colonialism and racism and white supremacy and the imprint that those uh, kind of structures had on the, on the, the origins of modern science, you know. So anyway, so this, this, this woman passed away in 1812 and her remains were not sent back to um, South Africa or Southern Africa until 2002. Yeah, you heard that right, 2002. So in contrast, Venus de Milo is a highly revered statue, Greek statue of this um, pure Greek woman who is, you know, she's treated and restored and in the dopest and most revered museums and museum in the world. And so I'm contrasting the difference between the way the world treats and views black bodies versus white bodies. So I'm down bad by the way the world treats the Hottentots versus the Milos. And so I go on to say these intravenous bars between Venuses, I'm getting under their skin deep. I'm trying to enlighten y'all till something spark give out third degrees like a pyro, third degrees. I'm talking about light, spark, I'm equating that to fire. I'm giving out third degrees like I'm a, an institution, an educational institution of higher learning, but I'm also burning y'all. I'm giving out third degrees like a pyro. Then I go on to say, keep my body out the convo lest we talk, lest it's body of work, lest we talk about body of work. I don't want no discussion of, of something that is irrelevant to me unless we're talking about my literary work, my work as an artist, right? Faith in my text leaves stigmata like it was body art. Church. Bells ring when I wed pen to paper like I'm a bride of this verse. Your talent cheap and mass produced like Alibaba. Truth hurts. So like y'all know Alibaba. You know, it's the cheap website where you can get all the things at cost. You know, low value, low price stuff. Whereas my shit is, is holy text. You know, it leaves the listeners with an imprint like stigmata. So <clears throat> anyway, I go on to say, you know, and marrying this whole thing of uh, church bills, like church bells ring when I wear pen to paper, like I'm a bride of this verse. I say, see my courtship with this cuneiform, which is a, a, a written uh, a written language. It's like it, using characters back in the Babylonian era, um, Sumerian Babylonian era. So I said, my courtship with this cuneiform is immortalized like Rosetta Slab's, right? Because Rosetta Slab had, um, it had, I think it had Sumerian text or Babylonian text. It had Egyptian hieroglyphs and one other language. And that was the way that they used to, to translate um, hieroglyphs in other languages. They were able to see this slab and I think it had Greek on it. So I'm, I'm tying in like my courtship with this cuneiform is immortalized like Rosetta slabs while y'all Babylon, babble on in Babylon, again, tying back to the cuneiform and Rosetta slabs about the bags you and your crew spent. Again, that small talk, you know what I'm saying? Just something that, that I, I aspire higher. You know, we can talk about, you know, trivial things all day long, but I'm gonna be posted up on a wall because that's not my thing. Um, I am the mitochondrial Eve, if you're not familiar. Everybody on this planet came from a black woman. The most, the, the, the oldest ancestor that everyone shares came from Africa. It's, some say it's the, um, the Rift Valley, some say it's Botswana, but it's Africa, that's non-negotiable. And the mitochondrial DNA is like what's passed down, genetic information passed down from mother to child. The mitochondrial Eve is the first link that scientists know of a group of women who their DNA or their group of DNA was passed on 
throughout the world. Um, I am the mitochondrial Eve, all these little atoms, atoms as in, you know, subatomic particles, but also atoms, since I'm referencing Eve, I'm talking about Adam, the biblical first man. I'm talking about, you know, the whole rappers is my son's thing. All these little atoms came from my seeds. Never forget that. I got a goddess complex, which is both a nod to Soul Messiah's new album, God Complex, and also like, you know, just me ha having an inflated ego about this thing that I do. Rightfully so. I got a goddess complex, and then also referring to complex in terms of a group of buildings. You know, because that's what we doing, we building. Building and destroying. Building positivity, destroying negativity. Um, but I say put some respect on my blueprints. So like, you know, you know, blueprint sketches, architectural sketches for, for building a complex or any other kind of housing structure. So anyway, all that to say, I wanted to break it down so you can clearly see the heaviness of the bars. 